Hey everyone, it's Kunal Johar, CTO of Open Water, and I'm here to answer the question of what is it that Open Water even does? But Open Water is an application and review platform, which begs the question, what is application and review? Your organization probably has a lot of different forms that you're currently collecting. Those would be application forms. You're collecting information, perhaps a nomination for an award, like a 40 under 40, chapter leadership, member recognition, uh, outstanding accomplishment. You know, every organization has tons of awards programs that they're running. Um, you might be collecting forms for things like your upcoming conference. Maybe you have a call for papers, call for speakers, call for sessions, call for topics, lots of different names, call for posters, calls for presenters. And what's common about these applications is that in order to do something with them, they need to filter through a review process, often involving one or more reviewers. So in the case of an awards, Maybe you have an awards committee where there's a list of, of judges assigned to various categories to help determine, hey, is someone worthy of winning this award? Is someone a finalist? With regards to conferences, maybe you have session chairs or session committees that are reviewing papers, ensuring that they are topical, timely, relevant to your audience, and you're selecting them to be presented in your organization. In some advanced workflows, like your certification, maybe you have a thousand questions that someone needs to fill out. And depending on how they answer those questions, for example, uh, one of our certifications that we run is a organization being bicycle friendly. So does your organization have bike storage? Do you have a private uh, shower area where people could come in and bike to work? So someone may fill out a form like this and the review process may simply be checking off if they did or did not uh, state that they did certain things. So in summary, Open Water helps with both the application side and the reviewing of those applications. So then the next question is, why help in the first place? And for that, I pulled together a real world example, and this video is recorded in June of 2022. So this example, believe it or not, still exists in the wild today. A lot of associations, such as AALAS, as I've pulled together their website here, have a process for collecting nominations that has instructions that say to email someone by a deadline, complex requirements, and then PDFs or Word documents that have to be filled out. So there's a lot of room for error as you're filling these out. You know, this is a simple document here, but how many people are gonna follow the rules? You know, maybe they're gonna put in an email address and forget to put the at sign in. Someone will have to correct that information Maybe someone fills out a form without completing the required information. So Open Water hopes to solve this problem of making the intake of applications seamless. So some of the frustrations faced by people who are dealing with a website that looks like this here is that a lot of people don't follow the rules, don't read the rules, and then around the deadline, or even more frustrating, after the deadline, they're sending a whole bunch of messages asking for questions that could have been answered. As I mentioned earlier, people are submitting incomplete forms or forms with invalid data. Uh, in, in the case of some of the forms we saw here, there's a need for third party references. So how do you assemble all of that? Is there a privacy concern with people seeing each other's references? And a lot of organizations collect various files like attach your CV or attach a photo or attach multiple photos or attach a PowerPoint presentation of your session that you're presenting at, your, at, the, at the conference. So Open Water hopes to solve the problems by making intake of what's normally done through a PDF and email a whole lot easier. And then when it comes to review, the same problems are typically faced on the reviewing side. Still today, people consolidate all the applications that come through and either prepare an Excel file with a list uh, to Dropbox links, or in some cases, they still print and produce binders that they're mailing to judges to review. Then you have to get all that data and tabulate it. So for the administrator, there's quite a bit of hassle coordinating the review process in terms of both getting the application information to the reviewers and getting the review scores back in one place that follows a consistent review scoring rubric. So let's take a look at what Open Water is and how it solves these problems. And we've put together a website you can try on your own. Just go to try.openwater.com and you can see a demo uh, firsthand. This is the Open Water Try page and you can try it out both as an applicant and as a judge without the need to create an account. So let's take a look as an applicant. 
So as an applicant, you see we've put together a sample form for the best restaurant of the year. You can type in a name, you can upload a logo, you can check things off. If you choose other, you can see we have branch logic. You could see that we're validating for required fields. And if you take a look and toggle to show me all fields, you'll get an extensive demo that shows you all of the field types that our form builder can collect. Here you could test out our file upload limits. And for the demo, we've limited to 25 megs, but there's no set limit in open water. We collect files up to 20 gigabytes, sometimes even larger. Let's now take a look at the review side. Return to the try page and click out try out the system as a judge. And here we've assigned you to four submissions. So as a judge, Open Water allows you to automatically assign things to judges, maybe assign them based on their expertise or have manual assignment. And as we flip through as a judge, I can see what I've been assigned to. I can give it a score. I could return and I can take a look at other items that I have to score. So on the left side, we see whatever information we want to share to the judges. We can blind fields. We can show all of the fields. It really depends on how you want to run your competition or your collection review process. And on the right side, we have a customizable evaluation form where the judge can score things based on a rubric that you set and potentially add uh, comments if relevant. So you can see here, I can provide a score. I can save. I can continue to my next item to score and I can complete my evaluation process all in one seamless portal. To recap, we have a very powerful application intake process. People can save, return later, especially if it's a large form. As you saw, we can validate requirements, such as making sure a field is completed. It validates an email address, a date was provided in a date field, a phone number was provided in a phone number field, word limits are adhered to. We can collect large files, and we have lots of different extensions, such as collecting letters of reference and other complicated workflows. When it comes to review, we have a whole myriad of possibilities for creating reviewing assignments. You could build your own rubric and the scores are tabulated automatically. What's important about Open Water is that it's all configuration. There's very little code. So let's take a look at that. I'm now logged into the administrative portal of Open Water. And here I have the form builder access. So if you recall, I had just shown you the ability to fill out a form with some general business information. And you can click through and you can see here were the fields that I had been asked to fill out. I can easily drag and drop other fields, give them a name, and now they're included in my form. The form can support multiple pages and tabs. So you saw earlier when I switched to show me all fields, I could now go through and take a look at additional pages and additional fields. So it is as easy as dragging and dropping fields and then setting the requirements, perhaps word limits or character limits or validating things such as dates, phone numbers, email addresses, and URLs. On the evaluation form side, you can see that there's a very similar structure. Here, I can pick and choose the kinds of fields I wanna ask, whether it's just a drop-down list, as we saw earlier, free text, and you can see here the configuration of, I can set the questions I wanna ask a judge, I can choose if they're numeric, if they're free text, if there's a file upload, if there's checkboxes. And then the rest of the configuration is all here. You could configure confirmation page, confirmation emails, if you're collecting fees. Um, there's also a built-in reporting engine. So the system itself is very robust. Everything can be configured without the need of a developer. So to recap, uh, all I've shown you here can be configured by you in a matter of hours. You can get started through the platform. We have step-by-step -step guides on how you can copy and paste the best practices from other associations. Speaking of which, uh, you're in good company. Over 700 associations use open water today, including some of the largest. And of course, we're proud to be an ASAE partner. And open water is great by itself, but we know in the association space, it needs to integrate. So we integrate with literally every AMS out there. So with that, thanks for watching this intro video and uh, go ahead and get started by going to learn.openwater.com. We have tons of classes available for you. Thank you.